No. Definitely not. Ah, there we go. This is a 2022 Rivian R1T. It is a fully electric pickup truck. It can tow 11,000 pounds and do 0 to 60 in just over three seconds. And today, I'm going to review it. Starting off at the front of the truck, this brings me to the design of the R1T. I really like it. A lot of people have said that they really hate these headlights, but I think they're kind of cool. And I really like this blue paint. I think this is probably my favorite paint option. It is such a nice blue. It really pops and makes this truck stand out a lot more in traffic. At the front of the R1T, we have our full projector style headlights. This doubles as your turn signal. We have your full running light bar, which will turn green when you're charging. Your Rivian badge. Your frame mounted tow hooks, a little air vent button down here to open the front trunk. Looking into the front, we have a floor here. You have your emergency trod release, a little net, and you can fold up this lower floor to access your charging equipment, the gear guard cable, which I'll get to in a little bit. In a very spacious front trunk, you could fill this with ice and make a little cooler out of it. This is magnetic. Here. This is probably where I would store most of my stuff, but the next storage place might be even cooler. Of course, that storage compartment is the all-famous gear tunnel. The thing that Rivian is pretty much known for. These doors can actually hold 250 pounds of weight. And this spreads the whole length of the truck. There's outlets in here. And you can stick long items in there, like my tripod, for example. In the gear tunnel doors, you will find the cable, the air hose for the air compressor. In the other gear tunnel door, you will find first aid kit. Looking down at the wheels, we have the 21 inch road wheel spec here. These aero inserts can pop out. Yellow brake calipers. Overall, the wheels do look pretty nice, although they're probably my least favorite design. I just think the all terrains in black look a lot better. At the front left of the R1T, we have our charging port. Tap right here to open up. You can open it from the screen, of course, and your phone. You have a LED charging ring to show you the status. CCS flap. This will charge at 212 kilowatts DC. I don't know what the AC charging is. So that's pretty decent for 240 volt charging and how big the battery pack on this thing is. This is a 135 kilowatt hour battery, about 128-ish usable. Um, and the range is 326 miles. The door handles go flush when you lock the truck. Speaking of the key, you can double tap to pop the frunk, double tap to release the tailgate, lock, unlock, and doubles as a carabiner. In the bed, pull this latch and you have a hidden storage compartment to stick whatever you like, or if you option the spare tire, that's where I would go in this. On the, on the left side of the bed, you have a built-in air compressor that you can hook up with a hose that comes with the truck. And these slots are for that gear guard cable that I showed you in the front. You can hook it through here, hook it around a bike or whatever, and then stick it through here and it locks when you lock the truck. Inside the bed, you do have power. And what's also weird is that it has a, a trunk release button. So I guess if the tunnel would be closed, you can get out. The rear of the R1T, you have your rear brake, brake modules, brake lights, turn signals, and down below, your reverse lights. In the back, you have this spoiler that lets air go down the side. These hooks are for crossbars that you can buy that can also be mounted on the roof. If you look around the truck, you'll find tons of cameras. And these are all for the Driver Plus automated driving system, which will steer for you and accelerate for you on mapped highways. The side mirrors fold and have lights in them for camp mode. On the ground, you also have these cool puddle lights that shine on the ground with the Rivian logo. And they are super bright and they are mounted on the mirror. When you open up the doors, there is a hidden Rivian logo in the bodywork. When you open up the R1T, in the door panel, you will find a flashlight that is actually very bright. So on the door panel, you have your airplane style storage containers, your door release, windows up, down, automatic on all things. Some lovely wood and leather. And it feels very high quality. You have your Meridian Elevation sound system on the door as well. Another Rivian logo with the adjustable air vents and this lovely wood trim. Open pour wood. 
Hopping into the R1T, you will find a very nice cabin. The steering wheel is leather wrapped. The seats are very comfortable. They are 10 way power adjustable seats. I had to count. Have a lovely digital display, which will show cars when you're driving on driver plus. You have your turn signal stock, which has wipers and light and your washer. You have your aluminum pedals. I can go into drive. But it will yell at me, so if I try to go forward, it just puts itself back in park. You can go into gear by using this little stock, down for drive, up for reverse, and press P for park. Hold down halfway for neutral. Down here you have your state of charge, your ride height, and uh, your drive mode reflection. So if I change it to like conserve mode, it'll change to a little leaf. The thing that's interesting about the R1T is that the turn signal sound... It's a little strange. It almost sounds like you're hitting like something with a hammer. You're parked, the picture of your truck reflects what is actually happening. So if you open the hood, it shows the hood open. If you open the charging port, it shows the charge port is open. And if you pop the gear tunnel doors, it shows that the gear tunnel doors are open as well as the tailgate. By holding down on this button, you can cycle through between map, efficiency graph, and tire pressure. Get into the R1T, you have a big center screen. Here you can control your climate, move around your air vents, control your rear climate, as well as your heated, ventilated, and heating steering wheel. You have navigation, which you can navigate to the nearest fast charger. You have Alexa built in. You have your lock unlock. You have your music. You do have Spotify title. You have your drive modes. You have all purpose, sport, and serve, snow, off-road, and towing. Then off-road, you have separate off-road modes. You have all-terrain, soft sand, rock crawl, rally, and drift. You also have a towing mode. This thing can tow 11,000 pounds and you have a built-in trailer brake controller. Truck tab can open your hood, open your charge port, you can lock the truck, you can toggle a bed light, you can open the gear tunnel doors, open the tonneau. You have a tailgate that you can open. You can adjust your mirrors using the scroll wheels on the steering wheel and you have your gear guard system. Gear guard records everything around the truck when you are away. It can record when someone hits your truck or if someone um, bumps it. It also has many different views. Bed view, you have a different bed view. You have the side, the other side, and you have the front view. Very good security system. Over here, you can access your camera views. The 360 cam, front rear camera. You can also access your energy. We have 147 miles at 47 percent range is based on all purpose and you can see your last charging session in here you can set your charge limit to 70 85 or 100 percent toggle the accessory outlets schedule charging and you can change your amperage your phone settings there's no device connected right now you have your settings settings you have bluetooth wi-fi this will do over the air software updates you have your garages camp speaker which is right down here doubles as a lantern and is a very nice speaker. So overall, this center screen is very responsive. It doesn't lag at all. It's super fast. It's fun, easy to your touch. The graphics look nice. Very high contrast screen. Your hazard lights are on the ceiling because the government mandates that the hazard lights have to be a physical button. And in everything else in this truck, it's not. So I'm guessing they put it up there not to clutter. And here, you have a little button to open up your center console. Very deep, lots of storage, two USB-C ports. Here you have some cup holders. And what's weird is that you don't have a glove box, but to make up for that, Rivian added a little storage compartment under both seats. The design of the seats is very nice. It has this nice contour here with these nice ribbed things in the seat and this nice cloth stripe. Very nice looking seat and the seat coolers are amazing. I said before that this is the best cooled seats I've ever had in any vehicle. The floor mats, what I think are called Shillowich. They're quite an odd material, but they are very grippy and they do feel nice. And I'd imagine they're very easy to clean. Here are your um, screen controlled air vents, which you can move by moving the screen. Climbing into the rear seat, you have the same. Back here though, it is very tall. I have stadium seating so I can see around the seat in front of me. You have a USB port on the back of this seat as well as a hook. You have a seat back pocket. The rear seats have their own touchscreen, which you could use to change the climate control. You can turn off the rear climate, change your heated seats. You have two USB C's and manually adjustable air vents. Here's that USB C port and clip. I have tons of headroom, good knee room, and this middle seat armrest folds down two cup holders, hidden storage, and hidden access 
to the gear tunnel. Up here you have some grab handles, which are actually coated on the back side in Rivian's compass yellow, which they use in a lot of their badges. One interesting feature is camp mode. You turn on these floodlights, which are mounted on the mirrors. You can turn off your display in case you're sleeping. You can actually level your truck to make it level for sleeping in your truck or in the uh, Rivian R1S, which makes a lot more sense because that's an SUV and you can actually sleep inside of it. Yeah, it just has a built-in camp mode. As you can see after leveling, this side is much taller than this side, so it did in fact level. It did a fairly good job. The nice thing about Rivian is that you are actually able to turn off traction control, which is something that Tesla le doesn't allow you to do. This allows you to do things like this. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> this button is this button to turn on pet comfort, which will keep the AC on when you leave the vehicle. It says, my pet is safe and comfy. 64 degrees Fahrenheit, climate set to 70 degrees. The Rivian R1T gets over 320 miles of range. They actually increased it by 10 miles with the software update, which is pretty interesting. 0 to 60 is 3 seconds, and here's a click of when we did a 0 to 60 earlier, and, and I was not expecting it to be as fast as it is, but it is extremely fast. Ready? Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, dude! Jesus! <laughs> Top speed, here we go. Right, there we go. High speed is still strong. That's oh my crazy. gosh. So that is my review of the 2022 Rivian R1T. I think it is probably the best electric pickup truck you can buy. Better than the Lightning, better than when the Cybertruck comes out, because it looks so much better, and better than the Hummer EV. It just checks pretty much every box for most people. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe. See you all next time. Bye! Also, oftentimes, if you just tap it, sometimes this will, like, yeah, it'll be like this. And it won't be fully out, but it'll be kind of popped. Then you have to press this again. And then it fully releases. An interesting quirk of the Rivian's doors that you actually have to shut it pretty hard for it to fully shut. Like, that didn't shut. That didn't shut. You actually have to put a lot of effort into the door for it actually to fully latch. Otherwise you just end up with that. Here is the charging port. Just tap right here to open. You can open it from the screen as well and the phone app. Here's your DC charging port. Why is my hands? I'll be right back. I wouldn't do the leveling right where I was. So I'm going to Too steep for it to level itself. So I don't know 